it's Angela. I'm going to read a story to you today. Do you remember learning how to use the potty? <laughs> I don't. It was quite a long time ago for me. But when you're just starting out, it can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of things. Well, today's book is called peek a -boo poo Alfie has a present for you. It was written by Lisa Reagan and Richard Watson drew the pictures. I have a little girl who also likes to draw pictures. Look at that. <laughs> you don't write in your books, do you? Let's get on with the story, shall we? peek a boo poo Alfie has a present for you. Alfie is a little scamp. He can walk and burp and laugh. He loves choo-choo trains and pets and blowing bubbles in the bath. Elf still wears a nappy because he's only two. He doesn't need to worry about where he does a poo. <laughs> he did it in the bath. Then Mummy speaks to Alfie. She says, I think you're ready to start using that potty now. It's simple. Just watch Teddy. Mummy pulls Alf's nappy down and seats him with a grin. The potty feels too big at first. He's scared he might fall in. You've got it, squeals his mummy. So that's what you should do. If you're playing and you feel the urge, sit there to do a poo. Alfie doesn't need to poo, but a bit of wee comes out. It won't stay in the potty though. It's squirting all about. Mummy smiles and gets a cloth. She gives him a big cuddle. Don't worry if you miss it first. We'll soon wipe up the puddle. Then Mummy leaves him to it and Alfie starts to play. He soon forgets the poos and wheeze and gets on with his day. The train is going round the track as Alfie shouts Choo Choo! And then he feels his tummy squeeze and he knows he needs to poo. Alfie wants his nappy back. This potty thing's no fun. He thinks there must be other places where pooing can be done. He tries to find his potty but then comes up with a plan. Who needs a boring potty when he could use this pan? Alfie sits as he was shown. The pan is very cold. He thinks this plan is genius for someone two years old. Mum walks in the kitchen. Her nose detects a stink. Little Elf has left the pooey pan beneath the kitchen sink. Elfie feels quite happy. He's started a new game and so begins his master plan. The peek a -poo campaign. Daddy needs to go to work. He kisses them goodbye. He checks his hair, puts on his coat, and straightens up his tie. And then he settles on the stair to fasten up his shoe. Oops! That's when he finds the next place where Alfie's done a poo! Buster's in the garden. He's digging in the ground. He pants and barks quite happily. Look what he has found. He goes into his kennel to chew it on his mat. But as he steps inside the door, something brown goes splat. Brother Charlie's home from school. He's going to play a game. He plays online for ages and his friends all do the same. Charlie turns the TV on, then settles in his chair. Disaster strikes! 
too late he finds that Alfie's poo is there. Mummy's gone out for the day and Grandma's here to help. She goes into the bathroom and Alfie hears a yelp. Poor Grandma sorts the laundry and naughty Alfie knows. She's found the poo he did last night hidden in the clothes. Grandpa's in the garden pulling out the weeds. He wants to get it tidy so that he can plant some seeds. He potters in the garden shed but what's that funny smell? Alfie's still not toilet trained but a pot works just as well. Sister Kate is going out. Getting ready takes her hours. No one else can use the loo while she preens, primps and showers. She steps into the bathtub and reaches for the tap. That's gross! She shrieks. Disgusting! Mummy knows it's time to chat. She sits Elf on her knee. Please try to use your potty, Elf, when you poo and wee. You seem to think it's funny hiding poos in all our stuff. But, sweetie, it's our family home and now we've had enough. Alfie wriggles off her knee, a smile upon his face. He shows his mummy proudly. A poo in the right place. Well done, Alfie. I'm so glad you learned how to use the potty in the right place. It wasn't very nice to find poo in the laundry or for poor Charlie to sit on it and have it on his bottom, was it? <laughs> If you like this story, I hope you give it a thumbs up and maybe, just maybe, you might get your mum and dad to subscribe to this channel and there might be some more stories. Okay, bye for now.